Hey, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 200. Thanks to those of you who have been with me for all 200 videos. We've covered all kinds of things in the course of 200 videos. We're not done yet. There's still a bunch more tricks from Excel that I want to show you. And today's another one called the Watch Window. But before I get to the Watch Window, thank you. I appreciate you watching these videos and hope they've been helpful for you. Please spread the word. What the Watch Window does is, we'll click on it and I'll show you. It brings up a little window that lets you watch or monitor or keep track of the value of a cell as things in your spreadsheet change. So if you've got a complicated model, you're in an academic setting and you're trying to meet budgets and you want to make sure your budget at the end of seven or eight or twelve spreadsheets ends up at the right place or the right seven or eight or twelve tabs maybe I should say ends up in the right place or you want to make sure you're within these constraints or whatever you do you've got to have this number within this range. You want to watch a cell and make sure you're okay. Here's how to do it. So I clicked watch window up here and I can add a watch. And it says, show me the cell you want to watch. And I'm going to click on this red arrow and just do end and down. Let's make sure that my balance always stays at zero. So I'm going to add that as a watch. And then the other thing I want to know, let's say I want to know, what do I have here? I've got an equipment loan that's going to go 240 payments. Let's say I want to know what the balance is going to be after, say, 10 years of payments. So let's scroll down here to 120, payment number 120. Let's make this a watch as well. So we'll click on add watch and add that. So what that tells me is, okay, um, I haven't named any of these cells, so I'll move that out of the way. And this is just the name of the sheet and the name of the workbook I'm on. But this cell's value is zero and here's the formula. That cell's value is 710,000. So what we'll do is let's just go back up to the top and let's say, what if I get a better interest rate from the bank and now it's 0.085, let's say. So the ending balance is still zero. So my formula is calculating interest. My payments have gone down. That all works. And my balance at the end of 10 years is 699,000 as opposed to the 710 it was before just by doing undo and redo. And we can do that again. We can do 0.08 and just keep track of values. And you can add as many watch window fields here as you want. And you can move this around or change the size or do whatever you want to keep track of these cells. And you can always hide it and then do whatever you need to do and then come back and say let me make sure these cells are still good and it'll come back and show it for you. That's what the watch window does. Let me show you one more trick uh, that's fairly straightforward. Let's say I'm back to one of those nasty seven or eight tab spreadsheets. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. I might have oh you know a hundred thousand rows or some awful amount of data and it's going kind of slow. What you can do is you can come over here in this calculation section and turn calculation. Normally automatic means every time you change a cell Excel goes through and recalculates the entire spreadsheet and makes sure nothing's changed. You can change it to manual. Now let's put our watch window back up and watch what happens. So in theory, if the rate goes from 7% to 8%, these, this number here should change. If the interest rate's only 7%, I should be able to pay off more of my balance the first 10 years. But it hasn't. And it won't change until I come over here to calculation options. I can either turn it back to manual, excuse me, from manual to automatic, I can turn it back to automatic. Or a lot of times what I'll do is instead of that, hey, I've still got lots of things to do with this spreadsheet. I just want to calculate and leave it on manual. What this guy will do is calculate now, and now my numbers change, and now I'm to 667. This one will calculate just this sheet. If you have eight or ten sheets, it'll just calculate this sheet, whereas this one will calculate the recalculate the entire worksheet. When you're done, turn it back to automatic. The only caution I'd give you if you've got a big nasty spreadsheet remember that you've got it on manual calculation because you can go make one more change, not recalculate, print, and not have the data that you want. So make sure that you leave it on automatic unless you need to have it on manual. And when you do, make sure that you uh, turn it back to automatic and watch this. Watch, <laughs> put a text box, do something to watch and make sure that you know you're not automatically calculating like Excel normally does when you've got one of these automatic versus manual calculation things going on. So that's it. The watch window and automatic versus manual calculation over here. And we've been through this formulas tab in the ribbon. Stay tuned next time. I've got some more Excel tricks for you. Thanks again for watching.